me a little bit about the business, your background, and then we'll go into Google My Business and then we can explore other facets if we have time. Sound good? Sure. Okay. So if you don't mind, please introduce yourself and tell me the name of your business. My name is Elise Pipitone and my business is called Blooming Careers. Wonderful. And Elise, what's your background? So I have been a career coach for the past seven years. Uh, before that, I was a social worker working with families in uh, nonprofit social service agencies. And before that, I worked in public relations and marketing. So I have a variety of skills with communications and writing, uh, working with people, uh, and uh, empathy is uh, a big part of, of my work. Wonderful. So when did you start Blooming Careers? About two years ago, uh, and it was a side business. Mm -hmm. um, and it still is for the most part, although my part-time coaching business is slowing down because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to grow this a little bit. Gotcha. Smart. So you're, you're definitely, you're hustling. You got your side hustles going on. I'm trying. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. So with Blooming Careers, what exactly, what kinds of services are you offering? So it's everything from resume writing and cover letters to interview prep, career exploration, which I love doing. I love helping um, midlife career changers or um, family members who are getting back into the field after caregiving for uh, a child or a sick relative um, and just helping them identify the job of their dreams is really, you know, it's just so exciting for me. I, I love doing this work and I love helping people with those aha moments. Uh, it's this it's the same it's just it's a puzzle right so you you're just you're getting that puzzle piece you're trying to figure out where it fits in it's the same thing for me that's why i love marketing and what i do so much because it's it's always different but at the yeah. same time if you apply some basics some fundamentals you can get people where they need to be right mm -hmm. so okay another question for you when we're talking about blooming careers you actually just started alluding to it but uh, do you have an idea of your different buyer personas or at least one buyer persona that you're, you're speaking to? Yeah, so um, there's a few different markets that I, I tend to uh, get people uh, from, get customers mm -hmm. from. Uh, because I have a social work background and I also volunteer for the National Association of Social Workers, I do have uh, a number of people in the social service or social work field. Uh, also those midlife career changers because I'm one myself um, and also people returning to work that for some reason that seems to be kind of my my niche uh, okay. although I have worked with all populations I've worked with you know high, people right out of high school um, new college graduates so it really runs the gamut but so if we drill down a little bit more with your experience who has been the best type of audience? Where have you seen the most success? Where are you seeing the most profit or the most conversions? That's a great question. I would say um, it's probably the career changers. Okay. So people who, especially now, I think COVID has just made so many people stop because they have to um, and kind of take a step back and think about what they've been doing and whether they want to keep doing that or not um, and, and realize that they want to be happy. Um, so yeah, it's a good time. That's great. Okay. So now, you know, I, I go through that because obviously knowing your audience, you've come to some of the classes, you know, that maybe I've spoken about buyer persona when you were in the class, but really it's this whole idea of understanding where your clients are at. So if I'm a, you know, 35 to 45, 50 year old, something like that, that maybe I'm guessing 35 or 40, that's in their midlife stage where they're trying to figure out what do I want to do? I want to change up. I feel like I've hit a glass ceiling mm -hmm. and you're going to speak to them and, and have certain messaging for that type of person. And then you have someone that's reentering the workforce, whether they be a mom or a dad that was staying at home, just like that, the same kind of thing. Um, I think with both of those, right, we hit this kind of this wall where it's overwhelming. It's this mm -hmm. transition into what is something that you knew, but it's totally changed. So the reason why I bring that up too, is because as we look at your profile, specifically on Google, my business today, I also want you to be thinking about the messaging you can be putting out the images, the themes, topics, things like that, that would speak right. to those audiences. 
Right. That's very true. Yeah. Awesome. Because it is scary. I mean, I think it's exciting for a lot of people, but it's also really scary. Oh, it's scary. About doing something different. No, it's, I'm like, it, it's very much the same thing. You're actually helping people get into the workforce and get into a job. I'm helping people, on the other hand, go from where they were, maybe in the workforce or staying at home to creating a business. So we're, we're hitting both sides just on, you know, different polar opposites, mm -hmm. but it's very much the same. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to kind of remind yourself of. And the fact that Maybe you've been out of work and now you have to answer to someone and everything else. There's all these different psychological factors going into it too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So those are all things, you know, one thing you want to consider, those are all things that for you as a career coach, they're just natural, right? Maybe you have it, you have a templated process and you're talking to people, but what are these little things, these little granular tips or tricks or insights or thoughts that might help people think, wow, she's totally right. I've got to talk to her to help me get to my next step. Yeah. Right. So that's, mm -hmm. that's something that would work well. We're going to talk about Google, my business posts, but also with, you know, your social media, LinkedIn and Facebook and everything else, creating some of that content. Are you doing that right now? I'm really not. Okay. Um, I know, I know that I should, it, it feels kind of um, big <laughs> right now um, because I want to do it well. And yep. um, I know, I mean, I, I think my LinkedIn page itself is, is pretty good mm -hmm. um, because I think my messaging has finally gotten consistent, but I'm not one of those people who post regularly. I know there's a lot of things that you should be doing to be much more active. Of course, and, everywhere. There's, there's yeah. always more to do. Yeah. That's the game. Yeah. But um, I think one of the things that we can talk about too, let's look at your Google My Business because I know that's the meat and potatoes of today, but then I think what we can do is we can talk a little bit more about your messaging and even coming up with some ideas for potential posts and topics that you could put up as a social post, as a Google My Business post, maybe make a video of it, maybe write a blog post about it. And the cool thing is you can take one topic. It could even be a frequently asked question that you get and go through and actually turn it into a video, then posts, then a blog, then everything else. And we can kind of reuse reduce recycle yeah. too so it doesn't have to be as overwhelming yeah. so i'll show you that too because that's something we're cooking up for 2021 oh, nice. awesome so let's first look at i'm going to pull this over here so when we talk about google my business of course it's your business showing up on google search and maps now mm -hmm. for someone like you this is again someone looking for career coach career consulting switching jobs uh getting a new job re-entering the workforce mm -hmm. um so this is one of the first things that they would see. And what I see that you've done from a high level, just looking at the map without jumping into your profile, uh, you've obviously, you've got your photos up here. You have, that's a very nice cover photo. Love your picture because it's nice and approachable, right? Um, love this saying. So what I'm seeing, if my computer's not mistaken, you got three things up there, right? Uh, I also correct? put a video. You put a video. Okay. Is that this black? There it is. Okay. We got a 20 second video as well. If I play it, the sound won't, won't work, oh. but uh, because no one will, will hear it in the recording, okay. but that's great that you have a video. Uh, yeah, what I encouraged me to do that. And I was a little nervous about doing it. Personally, I'd love to still hear what you think about it, but um, I don't like myself on camera. So it was not, no easy. one does. No one does everybody's something, you know, you're, you're not what you want to be on camera. That's okay. But it looks like I'll, I will watch this. Um, I'll just watch it right now. Okay. That's great. That's a wonderful video. So you're just saying why you're doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and what you want to help your clients do. That's perfect. What, what I would love to see as we're moving forward and I'd love you to take a note too, as we start thinking of, I think one of the biggest things that can work for you is frequently asked questions. I go to this mm -hmm. a lot, but for you, you must get them all the time. The same yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. Um, this is where you could start with a video and have something really short that you post up, or it could be a longer video and then you just create a clip, take a clip of it and pop it up on Google My Business too. This though, 
elevates you to that next level. What you're doing is something that is, it's so personal. It's almost sensitive because you're helping people make money, provide, right? They right. need to know you and like you and trust you. It's not as transactional as buying a house, even though buying a house is a huge purchase. Once right. you're done, you're done. You're getting right. them into something where they're going in every day, things like that. So they've got to trust you. Video is going to be a really good ally for you. Um, okay, whether it's on Google My Business. <laughs> yes, just get over it. The, yeah. Practice, 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 practice. Take the videos. You're going to have 20 takes because you'll mess up. Yeah. You're not going to think you look right, all those things. But what you got to do is if you're, if you're like me, you know, I take my phone. Yesterday, I put out a video. It took me three takes because the first two, I didn't have the right tone. You mentioned that too, the tone. But once you start kind of going through it and you know what you're going to say, you know the speaking points, you yeah. can make a video like that okay. real quick. Uh, another tip, I don't know if you did it on this one, but you can take a little notepad, write a couple bullet points and put it right under the camera. Ah. So no one will see, like you can barely tell that I'm looking down. It's yeah. very, and people don't really care if you're looking down a little bit. If you're like this, they're going <laughs> to they want to see the top of your head. Yeah. But that right there is going to be a great way for, um, for you to just write down three to five bullet points and just hit on those topics. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Now, um, will a user of Google My Business, will they know that that black square was a video? or Because um, I know you weren't really able you, to see that. Will, is there a way to have people identify that it is? So or it's, it's, the, it's basically because the video starts in black. So it's taking the first thing. That's the thumbnail. Oh. So it, um, I know that you, you did it on your computer. I don't know if there's a way on your computer to, if you've clipped it at all. You probably did because I don't see you awkwardly going to turn off the camera like most people, like where they're like this and they yeah. try to reach in. So my only thing would be try to clip it just a little bit more so that it's, you know, right here. Mm -hmm. And then that way it shows your face. Right. Okay, I'll see if I so, can do that. Yeah. Google My Business with showing video. It's great. It's a nice tool. It's not like a YouTube, right? So it's not going to give you all that flexibility. It's just going to be like, oh, this starts with a black screen. Here you go. Right. Okay. Yep. Good tip. Yep. So um, you got the video, which is great. My recommendation here too, if you ha do you have any other photos of yourself? Um, I do not professional ones though. No, that's okay. Like, do you have ones where you're laughing or it's candid or you're talking to someone or anything like that? Okay. We want to show that side too, right? You got to be easy to talk to. So put in some photos that just show other facets of your personality. Um, okay. Do you have, I know that it's kind of a personal thing. Some people won't want to give a testimonial. Do you have anyone that's given you testimonials? I have someone uh, right now who is working on one for me. And, Great. Um, so I will ask her to post it. Um, uh, well, that has to come from her, is that correct? They have to actually do the posting. If she's leaving a review, which yeah. we'll talk about, yes. If okay. um, if she just gives you, and that's what you want, you ultimately want her to leave you a review on Google, not give you an email or a letter. Um, but what you can do is you can take a snippet of that review, and then you can go onto a site like Canva. Have you ever used Canva? No. Oh. oh. Hold on, game changer. <laughs> so just like, you see how you have this one right here? And this is your cover photo. Um, so, it, you know, how did you make this? Oh, that's actually the um, homepage for my website. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Canva, canva.com, like Canvas without the S, allows you to make all different kinds of designs and stuff. There's a free version. There's a paid version. What, what I'm envisioning. So let's say that I just, I'll use a picture of my wife for our little mask business that we're doing. Oh. So, so there's <clears throat> Linda with the dogs. Um, but let's say Linda left you a testimonial. You could actually go on here and you could use text and you could write instead of this, just remove that. You could write right down here and have, a testimonial be right there instead. So now you have the photo of the person, a testimonial, and now it's up on Google My Business. Oh, that's nice. Does that make sense? Yeah. Canva's like that. really 
especially since you have the marketing background, I think you'll probably get lost in this a little bit because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You can do a lot of cool stuff in here. But yeah, Canva is a great, great tool. I use it all the time. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So going back, what I would recommend, uh, try to get up to five or 10. I would actually challenge you. Usually when I'm in the class, I'm like, do five. I would challenge you try to get 10 photos and or videos. So okay. make a couple more videos if you can. Do a happy holidays one, happy new year. Mm. Do a 2020, let's look ahead. Right. Um, you know, that perspective video. And if you can, more video or more photos of yourself. Or if you have to, they can be like, um, you know, stock photos. But I'd, I'd like to stay away. It's good to have photos on your account, but I like to stay away from stock photos just because it takes away that personality. Okay. Right. Um, I also had a few more of those um, cute sayings, like the yeah. do what you love, love what you do. But that, kind of, that felt a little... I don't know. It didn't have the same impact for me. I mean, there's, there's a quote that I really love that's, um, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? Um, and that's, that's one of those quotes I really like. And, you know, I, I saw, I Googled and there's, you know, beautiful text and a beautiful scene in the background, but I don't know if things like that are, um, helpful or if it's cheesy. Um, in moderation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, if you have more photos of yourself and, people, actual human beings, and then you throw in some of those. The one thing I want you to be careful about is, and I'll, I'll tell you this from an actual lesson that we learned. Um, so long story short, a, a person on our team went and grabbed images from Google images and put them on our website and we got sued. Oh, goodness. Wow. So you have to be really, really careful about grabbing images from Google images because what happens is on the other end, there are designers. This is what happened. A designer went and created all of these images, like thousands and flooded Google images. Well, come to find out when you use that designer's image, you either have to pay for a license or you have to attribute and give him his due course. Well, the person on our team didn't do either. Oh my Put God. it up on our website. We got sued for $8,000 for two images. Wow. Okay. So with that being said, I'll share a couple, um, I'll share a couple stock photo sites that you can use. Oh, okay. That would be great. Yep. So the first one is called Pexels and you can see it right here. Pexels, P E X E L S.com. Okay. Pexels is an amazing marketplace. It's all free. Wow. Beautiful. Yep. They have beautiful, beautiful images. So you could do, you know, uh, employee, you get all these images here, great. right? So that's yeah. where you could use stock images and no one would know the difference, but if you have too many of them, it kind of, it shows. Right. Um, but you could obviously 2021, you can have a saying. So all this stuff is free. It's royalty free. There's yeah. stock photos. You don't have to worry about anyone coming after you, which is great. Excellent. So that's, that's Pexels. The other one is called unsplash.com. Unsplash, very similar, a uh, little bit more artistic with these, but mm -hmm. you'll see some of these sayings too. Mm. Right? Yeah. So that's, and, and I mean, we could just look up. Ah. Oh, and they're really go. high quality too, which is so nice. They're high quality, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, this is where... Um, I mean, I like this one. Begin. Oh, so, so you can you can grab those. You can get away with some of those where it doesn't look as you know like Etsy ish. Right. Uh, it's it's more like it looks legit, like it's a real photo. So, yeah. take some of those. I would do. Those are the two sites that I really like. I've never had an issue with them. Stay away from Google Images if you can. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Of course, I don't want that to happen to you. That was a horrible, horrible feeling for us. So let's look to if we're just looking at your Google My Business and let's say we just came along, we're looking for career guidance, looking for a career counselor, career coach, things like that, job placement. Um, so we see your hours. Great. You got your hours nine to five, Monday through Friday. Perfect. Uh, notice right here. So I know right away 
at least I'm assuming because Google's showing me this, that you haven't gone in and actually marked your hours as closed or short for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, so on and so forth. Right, that's correct. Not, not a huge, huge deal. I don't think anyone's going to be there on Christmas Eve looking for career coaching. Probably it's a little, okay. right? But just to, I'll show you how to do that because every time Google My Business asks you to do something, there's a reason for it. Okay. And it's all about educating the consumer and making sure that you are the most relevant business at that time when they're searching. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we see that we've got your, yep. You have your Wix site. And then, so you put that as your booking link. You have your Wix site for your website. Great phone number, women led wonderful. Um, and that's what we're seeing. So now let's jump into Google my business. So of course, this is a dashboard. You know how to get here, google.com slash business. You were in when we started the call. Mm -hmm. And on this home screen or the dashboard home screen, you're going to see a few things. Uh, create a post, add photo, create ad. Now for you and my recommendation to anyone, excuse me, there's something in my eye. My recommendation to anyone who's watching this video or who comes to any of the classes, uh, it seems like running ads would make a lot of sense right out of the gate. My recommendation is to make sure you totally solidify your foundation. You get all the basics done and then advance to ads. So not to say that you're looking at that, but there are a lot of people who've been asking me right now. Mm, and it's okay. just one of those things where you want to make sure get everything solidified right now. You know, even here I can see the business, your business profile is 80% complete. If anyone saw this on their dashboard on the homepage, then that means their foundation isn't solidified yet. What I liken it to is, let's say, okay, you built out Google My Business, um, you know, and now it's kind of like it's there, but I like to think of it as a foundation of sand. Imagine building a giant tower on sand. You know that it's going to slide and maybe crumble or tip or whatever. We need that foundation to be cement. We need this to be 100%. We need to make sure that we have everything taken care of and we're following the steps we have to and doing the things we have to, to make it a really strong profile. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's jump in. Um, first thing I see is we have to add your logo. So if we go over here, let's go to photos. Right now it shows that you have a logo, mm -hmm. but that's definitely like a, an image. I get it. It's the blooming thing. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder right now if we went to, Pexels and typed in. You could see a whole bunch of stuff that maybe you want to consider using mm -hmm. for blooming careers. Mm -hmm. But that image right there, one thing is it's really small and it's pixelated. Okay. So that's why Google's saying add, add a logo because it's not really a logo. Okay. Okay. So that's one. We've got your video. You've had 22 views so far. Uh, 29 views of this image, 36, 21. The more images you add in, the more you're going to see the numbers go up. Okay. Um, G Google is, it's just like any system. The more content you're giving the machine, the more the machine's going to reward you. It's going to go faster. It's going to be more efficient, right? So again, we want to get to like 10 images and keep going. Okay. So that's number one. Let's go to posts. Love that, but it was rejected. So let's see why it was rejected. Career coaching is guided objective process. Interview preparation, salary negotiation. So providing motivation, inspiration, emotional support. I'm wondering... It's like um, almost a month old. I don't know if that's why. No, it's, it was rejected because for some reason it violates the terms of service. I'm assuming that it has something to do with some of the wording that you used uh, because you may have used a word. I don't know the trigger words, but you may have used a word. It could have been emotional support. It could have been salary negotiate. Like it, it could be anything, but it could be something that, um, 
basically triggers the system and says, this is, this is not right. This seems like it might be um, something that's actually unethical or it's, it's trying to be like predatory. Oh, okay. yeah. Which you wouldn't think, right? Um, let's see. It could be investment, the word investment in yourself. Those types of words are usually something that, you know, um, more of a snake oil type of thing. So I would say probably the ones that are standing out, emotional support, investment, um, ne salary negotiation. It, it's words that you use all the time, but yeah. what I would try to do is maybe go back, use the same thing. The image is fine, but take off the investment in yourself. Okay. That might just be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it was rejected for a reason. So let's see, you got all. And that's all we've that's all we've had. So you've had one that you put up, this was in November, right? Yes. Okay. So don't be scared off by that. I've had I had someone else that runs a Reiki business, which is energy healing. She too was um was rejected because it said something like, you know, healing in general is something that's really um, hot button topic. Yeah. People, you know, like you, you're, you're telling people you're a healer, same kind of thing. Right. So what you should be doing with posts, what I'd love to see is creating a post at least once a week. Yep. So we want to have and a post once a week. Yeah. Will the prior posts stay or do they just replace each other? They stay, but they're archived. So people would have to click to see older posts. Oh, they okay. still stay. You can reuse posts, so I wouldn't reuse them every week, but you could, you know, post the same thing a month later or two months later and be fine. Okay. Um, because the whole game here is you're adding new content and you're keeping your Google My Business profile fresh so okay. that when someone comes on to search, they see that they're going to ultimately, they're going to be like, oh, wow, okay, here's a new thing. Here's a new thing. Here's a new thing. And it gets the other aspect of that is it, it gets you into the Google My Business dashboard so that you're showing that you care about how your business shows up. And that's what Google wants to do. Right. Okay, so post is good. Info, career guidance service, uh, no location, service areas, got it, Boston to Dedham, and other parts, west, that's fine, north. Um, yeah, I tried to, you had suggested, um, you know, because I do serve, I'm remote, so I could really work with any um, geographic area. And mm -hmm. I remember you saying something about like pick one city that kind of represents uh, the area. Yeah. So. It, I mean, you could cheat the system and say United States and it would show all the United States, but you're not going to show up for all the United States. Right, right. So you're better off doing what you did. It creates a nice little, if we go here, it creates a nice little region mm -hmm. for you. What you can do if you'd like to do, so knowing that, you know, this is a small area, it probably is 20 mile radius, you can actually name the other cities. So you can go in and name the cities and towns and add them all in. Right now, what you're doing is you're doing point, 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 point and creating kind of a region, right. but you can actually, to get a little bit more juice, put in each of the towns and cities in between. Okay. That would be kind of time consuming, but I could... It would probably take you like 15 minutes. What I would do is have the map open and then just look in and be like, okay, Medford, Arlington, mm -hmm. Somerville, blah, 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 and go back and type them in. Okay. Not as time consuming as, as you would think. Okay. Because I've done it many a time. Um, okay. Hours are good. More hours here. So you obviously don't have any of these because you're remote. So you don't have to worry about that. Special hours is where we'd say, okay, we're closed on Christmas Day, on New Year's, so on and so forth. They make it really easy for you. You just click on confirm hours and change them. So I'd recommend doing that. Uh, you've got your phone number, great. You have your short name, wonderful. We've got your booking link at your website. We have your website, perfect. So for services, let's click in here. So here's what you did. You created a primary category of career guidance service. And then for each one, resume and cover letter writing. Okay. So you started, but I can already tell you just, you, you're like, yeah, it's going to take too long. So no, we I don't want to do that. I could do that. I didn't realize that. Um, oh, you I didn't. Okay. 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 
So with each one, you get up to 300 characters. Okay. Uh, with each service description, try to try to fill up as much as you can. Sure. So you've got each one. Now with LinkedIn profiles, I would maybe change it to like LinkedIn profile creation, LinkedIn profile optimization, okay. something that describes a little bit better. You could have two for LinkedIn profiles. The more services you have, the better. You're casting a wider net. Okay. And this is like if someone's saying, okay, I want to, you know, I need interview prep. Okay, then you have a chance of showing up because you put that in as a service. And then you described it right here. So we want to do those. Um, products you have the ability to do. Here's the deal with products. Obviously, you're not really selling products. You're selling services. If there's any way that you can depict those services as a product, like a career boot camp or something like that, you can actually add in a product. Notice that with a product, I can add a photo, which is huge. Because guess what? Those photos now show up on the profile too. So the whole name of the game here, we're trying to lengthen this bad boy as much as we can. Give it as much information as possible. Because when we find it on a phone and we have to flick our thumb, it's more times that we have to flick. More times that we're interacting with your brand. Okay, great. Yeah, because I do offer... Um different um, packages, career coaching packages. There you go. And that's where what I'd recommend, go find a nice image or a photo of you, whatever, nice image on Pexels or on Splash, go to Canva, create, put some text on it, and then make it a product. So now it's actually showing exactly what you're doing, right? It's calling it out with text. Nice, okay. And then you've got the product name, make sure you go through, choose a new category, um, price is optional. You can do a price range if you wanted to instead. Product description is big. We definitely want to do that. And then add a button. If you can, always, always, always add a button. Wherever Google My Business says, hey, you can type in a URL or add a button, do it. Okay. That's a big one. So you've got services and products. We've talked about photos. One other thing, let me go back to posts really quick. Let's say that you create a post and let's say you add an update. The same thing here. You already added a photo, which I love. Always add a photo or video. Now, this could be a video that you made before that you posted up in the photos tab, right? You can add it as a post. You can add it in two places and get oh, okay. more use out of it. Oh, great. Uh, and then you have your post itself that you can write out. Always, again, you did it before, always add a button because that shows up right in the search results in your profile and it's giving people, it's telling them, do this, click here, it's a call to action. It's getting them to actually interact. So good info we went over. Uh, last thing we'll look at is insights today. Or actually let's look at reviews first. Okay, no reviews. So name of the game, we wanna get some. Um, do you have some older clients that you could go to and contact and say, Hey, could you leave me a review? It helps me grow my business. Sure. Yep. Okay. Do that. Uh, shoot for five. Okay. Five to start. The thing with reviews is a lot of people get really excited and they say, Oh yeah, I'm going to get reviews. And then they go and get like 20, but then there's no one else left. So right. the review game is getting a good base and then drip feeding it like an IV. So you want to get like two to three new reviews each month to show people that you're actively working to signal to Google that you're still providing a really good service. Okay. Great. Okay. And insights. So insights, we're not seeing tons. This does not help us at all. Cause of course, you know, you're doing a play on words. So blooming you're showing up, which is not probably what people are looking for. Mm. Also because the, profile if it's more active i think you'll have a better chance of showing up um right now this and i don't know why it's looking like it makes no sense so maybe these stats are off there's probably more words and for some reason this just isn't showing up i would check back in a couple of days and see it's probably a glitch or something or a bug in the system because I'm, I'm guessing more people have typed in things other than blooming. Okay. So direct is people that are typing in your business name or your address. This could be you. It could be people that you know, mm -hmm. right? So you're, you're yeah. those eight and then discovery is probably, oh. probably you and, and me. Um, 
discovery is, you know, typing in your business category, a product or service that you offer, which is why it's so important to optimize those products and services. Mm -hmm. So you see, you're getting 52 in the last month, which is pretty good. Let's see if, if there is a bug, then we're going to tell right now. Yeah. So there's definitely something going on mm. where customers find you. Most of them are finding you on search. Some of them are finding you on maps. Again, these numbers I think are a little convoluted because you and I have been going to the site and looking at it. Um, but over time, you're probably gonna see most people are finding you in search. People aren't looking on maps for a, a career counselor or you know that type of stuff, they're looking on search. Customer actions, two people visited your website and then we haven't had anything. As you follow some of the stuff that we just talked about and become more, um, more active, on here more dynamic you'll see more actions coming up right phone calls nothing photo views notice people are looking the more photos we have the better you have five photos congratulations C customers have no photos which is okay again let's get to 10 let's push okay. it uh last thing i just want to look at an in info i think i glazed over some things here we, we got to hours, we got to short name, got to website, got to products and services from the business. Yep, identifies as women led. You've got your description. That's an, that's an amazing description. Oh, thanks. That's really, really good. Wonderful. I mean, spells out everything. And the point of a description is you're talking to someone that's in their micro moment trying to find you. So the question, the fact that you started with a question, great way to capture them in. Uh, I love it. This is really, really nice. Now with this description, do you have it in other places? Have you made sure that it's showing up on your other social media channels, on your website, all over? It's on my website. Um, okay. And I think that's it right now. Okay. Just check uh, what other social channels do you have? Uh, so LinkedIn, I have a face, uh, a Facebook account that's personal, but I'm mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. about incorporating some of my business things on there yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I stalk on Twitter. I don't actually post. So yeah, it's something I need to. to nope, no problem. I, again, it's figuring out where you're going to get the most juice for the squeeze. Um, here, it makes sense because people are going to be going online searching for it, especially as we get into the new year and we just had a high unemployment rate, higher than we thought, right, yeah. of the numbers. So um, you're going to see that LinkedIn makes a heck of a lot of sense. Do you have a company page on LinkedIn? I don't, no. Okay, that's no problem. You can use your personal profile. I mean, I would show this in as many places as you can, for sure. This is really, really well written. I mean, probably one of the, uh, no joke, one of the best I've seen. Wow. So yeah. Uh, opened in May, 2019. Wonderful. So you filled out all that stuff. Here's something I'm going to, uh, we're going to end with this, right? Cause we're getting to time. Okay. Um, something that I haven't shown many people, I'll, I'll give you two things to leave with. Okay? okay. One is labels. So with labels, you're basically, you're typing in keywords. Now there's, there's different schools of thought on this, but the idea here is that you're putting in labels and you're typing in like, let's say job uh, or career counselor. I think I spelled it right. Are there two L's in there? No, nope, that's right. You got it right. Okay. Um, job coach. I mean, you can type in anything you want, right? Uh, LinkedIn coaching. You can, you can go in and change these. I'll just apply them right now. Okay. Those labels show up. Now the labels are for internal use, but from my research, what I've heard, what I've found, they also can help you show up if people are typing in those types of words. So there wow. is some value there, not tons, and there's no promise or guarantee of it, but it is something that I've seen a lot of experts in the industry use uh, and they swear by putting in labels and making sure they're hitting on the different terms. Great. So that's one where you're going to want to add in as many as you can. Um, 
the other thing is let's see view you on search and when we view you on search the last thing i'll leave you with mm -hmm. questions and answers questions and answers is a module that for some reason google my business does not show you in the dashboard now when someone asks a question about your business you'll get an email because you own the listing mm -hmm. and what you would have to do is go right here you'd have to find yourself on search and you'd have to go in here let's say someone asked a question um So I just posted a question, right? Now let's see if it actually shows up. Sometimes it shows, yep, shows up quickly. See all questions. What services do you offer on link, with LinkedIn? You can now go in and answer that question. So you can now go in and, and basically what you're doing is you're, you're popping in some keywords. We provide LinkedIn coaching, LinkedIn profile assessment, LinkedIn profile optimization, these types of things. Put all those in. When someone's finding this listing, now they're going to see questions and answers yeah. with questions and answers. It too can help you because the more questions you have uh, and the more answers that you have, the more involved your profile is, the more uh, people are interacting with it. The other thing, uh, you know, if let's say that someone likes it, it has more of a chance of showing up at the top. <clears throat> so I'd recommend you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can do this yourself. You can log in. Like, yeah, you can literally log in, ask a question, ask a question of yourself and answer it. That's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep. So I would go again, we go back to this idea of frequently asked questions. If you have some FAQs, type those in and also talk about your services. Hey, what do you offer for this service or what, what is this? What's the going rate for this or whatever else you can answer any of those questions you want. And obviously more questions and answers, the more content you're putting out. Mm, that's, that's a great tip. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that one. I put, I made a video of it on our YouTube channel, but it's something that gets buried quite a bit. And because it's not in the dashboard, people just forget about it. Yeah. So I have to go into it through, through search. When I do a search for myself. Yep. Okay. We did this. So we worked to give you an idea. We worked with a company, um, it's a, they basically, they have a national presence, they're a solar energy company and they have locations all over the country. You know, sometimes they have three or four locations in a state. And so we went through and we actually did the questions and answers on each of them. And we saw an uptick in volume and, um, and requests for consultations as well. So empirically, we saw that it does work. Great. Yeah. Wow, I have a lot of uh, work to do, but I, you got a lot. I know. I, I gave you some homework for the weekend, but um, you know, I really appreciate it, Brian. This was of course really eye opening and um, just really, really helpful. Yeah, my advice is this: just tackle it a little bit at a time. Um, don't get overwhelmed. If anything, the other thing that you gotta realize is if we go in here. Just putz around, find, find one tab and start looking at it, getting a better idea. Hopefully insights is going to fix itself. But with all of these, I mean, just dedicate some time to photos, get your photos up, get the videos recorded, put them up. Uh, like I said, the reviews, that's going to be a big one. And those reviews signal that you are a legitimate business, especially if they're coming in from different accounts at different times. So it's not just, getting a giant avalanche of reviews, but systematically getting them in. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much. This has been incredibly helpful and I really appreciate it. My pleasure. It. My pleasure. I'm glad that I could be, I could be helpful for you and hopefully this will help you in 2021 as well yeah. to pivot from that part-time job so that we're fully in here.